guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me so today we're gonna to be talking about some really exciting news real quick before we get straight into the wish list video but uh, Sephora is doing some updates to their rewards program they're kind of revamping it and making it better um, and I think they're kind of kicking that off with this beauty insider appreciation event which is the reason that I wanted to go ahead and get my wish list video up so uh, this is just is really really exciting. They've got this sale thing going on. It starts August 24th for Rouge. It starts August 30th for VIB and for Insiders. You can see the breakdown here. Rouge is 20%, VIB is 15 and Insider is 10% off. So really exciting. That's off of your entire purchase for those dates. I'm going to go ahead and link this uh, website below so that you can get all of this information. It briefly mentions the new things they're going to be doing for the rewards program. We're not going to go into that today, but I am going to do a future video before I leave YouTube about Sephora versus Ulta. And I'm going to try to include as much as I know about the new Sephora rewards program when I go ahead and do that video. Okay, so now that we've kind of gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the wish list. So these are things I'm not purchased as always, like I'm not going to be buying everything. These are just things that have caught my eye that I may be kind of interested in. Maybe they're repurchases that I'm for sure going to buy, whatever. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing. I always buy this during the VIB sale. This is a Sol de Janeiro a Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It smells amazing. It's a pretty decent sized bottle and I just ran out of mine so I'm going to be purchasing that. Next thing that I have here is the IGK No More Blow High Speed Air Dry Spray. I've talked about this in a couple of recent videos. I will link those below in case you want to find out more information. But uh, I love this stuff and I go through it quickly so of course I want to get it on sale. Uh, next thing that I have here is the new Too Faced like birthday collection palette, the uh, Then and Now Cheers to 20 Years collection. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be interested in this. I wanted to see it in store first. I did go to a Sephora yesterday and I checked this out and I swatched it. I absolutely love the top row. Gorgeous. Like I will probably use all of these shades from the top row except for the black because I never use black um, but the bottom row I loved the mattes uh, and I don't know how much of the other shades I would actually use so I don't know if it's worth spending the full $59 on like half of the palette so I'm not sure but this blue ice queen shade right here oh my gosh that light blue ice queen, it's so stunning. It just is like the perfect glittery, magical Cinderella type of color. And I love it. And I almost want the whole palette for that, but that's silly. So I don't know if I will buy this. It does have a nice smell to it, but it's um, kind of a mild, like vanilla sort of scent. Uh, but it does have that nice smell. And then the packaging is actually prettier in person than it looks in you know, on the website. Okay, moving on down the line. I also put this on here. This I just added. Actually, I added both of these after I went yesterday to Sephora. Um, I was not interested in these at all because I didn't think that there were any colors that I would be interested in. But this shade, this is weird. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this shade is called Miss Thing. And it's this gorgeous duochrome like pinky, peachy, gold kind of shifty, very shimmery, ultra metallic color. And it's just absolutely stunning. So it's this, you know, top shade here. Um, I did look at the other shades, not really interested in any of those other shades, but this like Miss Thing peachy shade is absolutely gorgeous and I was talking to the girl at Sephora and she was telling me how beautiful it was over other colors. So I am pretty interested in that one. Next, moving down the line is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love leave-in conditioners. I actually recently purchased the IGK Coconut Leave-In Spray because I was out of mine and or out of my old one and I wanted to try something new. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really smell like coconut. It works really well, but to me it smells like hairspray. So I may be returning it. 
And uh, I will probably pick this up. I've had multiple samples of this and I absolutely love it. So I'm um, probably going to get that. Next thing I have here is this Naturally Serious uh, Lip Service 3-in-1 Lip Serum. I love things to moisturize my lips. I don't have as bad of a problem with dry lips as I used to. Um, but I still like natural, you know, clean brands stuff to put on my lips. So here's the thing though. I don't know if this brand is cruelty free. I cannot, it's not, they don't say anything about it being cruelty free in the description. I could not find anything about it just Googling it. So if you guys know if this is cruelty free, I would love to know. Um, but it does have a lot of cool ingredients. It's got, uh, let's see what's in here. Pomegranate, goji berry, grape seed green tea, red tea, and white tea. So I think it'd be a really cool lip serum. It's got great reviews. If it's cruelty free, I may pick that up. Next thing I have here, I'm actually not going to buy this anytime soon, if ever. <laughs> but I was just really excited when I saw Charlotte Tilbury was coming because you always hear like such great things about Charlotte Tilbury and they're coming to Sephora. So I think that's exciting and it's a cruelty free brand, which is always exciting. This is a very basic palette. You've got three eyeshadows, a face highlight and a bronze or contour shade, which is a nice cooler tone. And then you also have two uh, cheek colors. So I think it's a really nice, I love the idea of an all-in-one palette. I think those are great for traveling, but honestly, like I just started a new job. I'm probably not gonna be traveling for a while. This is not something that I really need, um, so I'm I'm gonna hold off for now. But I might buy it in the future. It's just it's so expensive, seventy five dollars. It's insane. The next thing that I have here, I have two face cleansers. I have the Youth to the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. This has got kale and I think spinach, vitamins, green tea. So it's a really clean cleanser. I love it. I actually have like a um, deluxe type size. I got this little like kit with the moisturizer and the face wash. I love this cleanser, but it comes in a glass bottle and I'm kind of clumsy and I don't love that it comes in a glass bottle. It's really pretty, but for me, it's not um, super functional um, being in a glass bottle because that could be dangerous. <laughs> um, so I have this on my wish list because I do need a new face cleanser, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get it just because of the packaging really. Uh, the other one that I have on here is the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Um, it's supposed to be for redness, so, you know, maybe it's a good one. It's got four stars, not quite as good of reviews as the, um, as the Youth to the People. But I do really like the pharmacy brand, so I am, I'm interested in checking this out. Not sure, but I do need a new face wash, and this doesn't look like it's a glass bottle. So <laughs> that's a little safer probably for me. Uh, next here, I have a couple of these new Natasha Denona uh, matte foundations. And the reason that I was like really interested in this is because they have a lot of different shades with different undertones for fair skin. Um, so I wasn't sure what my undertone and my shade would be. So I have two in my wish list. I have the 3N, which is fair with neutral undertones. And then also fair with red undertones, but I wasn't sure because it said 10 R and 10 sounds a lot higher than three. And I'm usually at the bottom of the spectrum in terms of, you know, whiteness. So yeah, I'm not sure. I don't need this right now though. So if I purchase this foundation, it's probably going to be around the VIB, the regular VIB sale time, not this like end of summer one. Okay, so moving on down the list, I have this Dry Bar Too Faced Glitter Spritzer Sparkle Spray. So this is a totally unnecessary product, but you spray your hair and it's supposed to smell really good and like put glitter in your hair uh, without it being like sticky or like uncomfortable in your hair. It has excellent reviews. I actually, you know, I went to Sephora yesterday and I was hoping to try this out, but uh, they didn't actually have it. So I want to try it before I buy it because it is $20 and this is like a, you know, a sample size. Uh, usually their, their smaller products like this are like, uh, you know, $13, but maybe glitter is expensive. I don't know. Next, I have this Penrose Best Travel Perfume Kit ever. So I had this in my wish list before. These are just like perfume wipes is what they're called. Um, so you can like try all of their different perfumes and it's not too expensive and it's easy to travel with and all of that. So 
Um, I am still interested in this. I don't know if I'll pick it up this time. It might just stay in my wish list for a while longer. We'll see. Uh, next thing that I have here is this Jouer Cosmetics Blush Bouquet Dual Blush Palette. Uh, I thought it was really exciting that Jouer came to Sephora because I think it's a type of brand that belongs there. Like it just, it's a really pretty, like luxurious looking brand, but it's still, um, you know, it's not like crazy expensive, like uh, Charlotte Tilbury or something. So they've got three shades. I like this Adore shade, which is the most neutral one. The berry one is also really pretty, but I think the uh, dark shade here would be too dark for me. So I like this one. Not sure if I'm going to pick it up because let's be honest, I do not need another blush. Moving on down the line, I have this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I meant to swatch this in the store yesterday and I completely for forgot. Um, they do actually have these in stock at my store, but I forgot to look at them. <laughs> so um, these have really good reviews. They look really pretty. The one I was interested in was Smoke, which is that taupey one. Uh, so we'll see. I'm probably not going to pick it up. It's another like very unnecessary product for me. Um, most of these are because I have a ton of stuff in my beauty collection. Next thing, this one I really just want because of the color. The Beauty Blender Sapphire. This is one of their limited edition shades. I just love the color. It's gorgeous. But I love my Real Technique sponges, which are way cheaper than the Beauty Blender ones. Uh, and Beauty Blender, in my opinion, is harder to clean. But I still kind of want this. <laughs> uh, next thing that I have is this Verb Leave-In Mist. It's another conditioning, you know, leave-in conditioner spray. Um, I'll probably get the Rosarco one, but if I don't, I will probably get this one. <laughs> Next thing that I have here is the Pharmacy Bright On uh, Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask with Echinacea Green Envy. Again, I love the brand Pharmacy. I think this is a really cool sounding product. It's like for, it's for um, soothing your skin, calming your skin, calming redness, uh, reducing the size of pores, uh, brightening your skin so it's like green and then it turns purple or it's purple and it turns green I don't remember which way it goes but it just it seems like a really cool product and it's got really good reviews it smells kind of spa like I did smell it in the store um, so it's an interesting mask that I would like to try at some point don't know if I'll pick it up this time but maybe maybe this sale maybe the next sale um, I've also got this Violet Voss Flamingo Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This just looks so pretty. These colors are uh, the types of colors that I, I really enjoy, but it also kind of reminds me of my BH Cosmetics uh, Palette, so the, the Summer Festival one, so I don't know if I really need this. I mean, again, don't need anything, but um, I really like the yellow in there and then the the this shade, the oceanfront and tidal wave shades just look gorgeous and the pinks and the purple. So yeah, that's one that I am pretty interested in. I've been interested in it since before it came out. Um, but I'm also interested in the Lemonade palette by Kristen Dominique, which is coming to Sephora at some point. I don't know if it'll be there in time for the sale or not. Next thing that I have is the Verb Dry Shampoo for Light Hair. This has like five star reviews. I'm always looking to try new dry shampoos because I've got really fine hair that gets really greasy really fast. And the only shampoo or dry shampoos that tend to work for me, besides the Briogeo, which I hate the packaging of, um, they tend to smell bad. Like they smell like bug spray or like lighter fluid or something just uh, very unpleasant. So I'm always looking to try new ones that maybe will work that smell better. Uh, next thing that I have here is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Bath Bomba or Boom Boom Bath Bomba. I love these. I'll be picking up a few of them probably uh, with the sale. Next thing here is the Herbivore Cocoa Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. This has excellent reviews. It's, it's supposed to smell like coconut and rose and be like a really nice exfoliating scrub. Um, probably this is just going to stay in my wish list for now. I don't really need, uh, you know, a scrub right now because I love my Ulta ones and I've got like half of a container of that left. So that is everything for my wish list. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know what you guys are planning to pick up if you're excited about the rewards program, what you hope is going to change about Sephora's rewards program. Anyway, I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.